testing, testing. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining. We're getting ready to go. What's up, Green Dragon? What's up, Captain? I am in the club. I'm getting some uh, drinks before I get started here. Everything's looking good as it's starting up. Thanks for sharing that info out. I appreciate it. Got a special guy on the radar today. We are partying today. I got a couple things, fun things to share before we get going on our interviewee. But uh, just waiting for you guys to kind of roll in, share the stuff out, and uh, get uh, my uh, lovely Pop One players in here. You want one too, Captain? I got you. Tell me what you like. I'll make it for you. All right, we're about uh, 30 seconds out from me going forward. Thanks for that follow, Muhammad. I appreciate it. Sweet. All right, guys. I think it's about time to get rolling. Hope you enjoy the show today. Thanks for those likes. Thanks for those follows. And sharing out the content is most important because I want to make sure this person gets... Uh, those follows and the attention that they deserve for all the efforts they put in to share out our favorite game. My favorite spot in the world? If I did an interview, there's two places I would do my own interview. Here in the club or in the cemetery. We've got some great things to uh, share today. Some fabulous, uh, wonderful things about our Population One streamers. Congratulations to Sly Fisting, who hit his 1K follows today. Congratulations to Dan Dan, who also hit 1K. Uh, a lot of these things rolling in quite quickly, uh, thanks to Facebook giving Population One some attention last week and I hope weeks to follow. All of you streamers that are popping in and putting in that work and effort that's not there yet, it will happen, it will come to you. Patience, right? Um, I had some patience, but I also had luck, and that luck was um, dumb luck, I think, because I don't work as hard and stream as much as half of you guys, so appreciation out to you guys. Okay, moving forward, let's talk about what's important today. I appreciate those likes, guys. Thanks for jumping in and saying you're here. I'm uh, working on a particular individual hey, that I've met recently. And uh, thanks to my other half, I've gotten to know him quite well. And uh, he's a nice guy. I was intimidated by him at first. I was. He was scary to me. Actually, the whole clan was scary to me until I realized they're just a bunch of nice guys. They're just really great players. So, today on our docket, our most beautiful important person of the day is Super Nugs! What's up? How you doing, Nugs? I was trying to hide. You're totally not <laughs> hiding. I can totally see your name tag. We're not in a game. Doesn't work. <laughs> how, how are you doing today? <laughs> uh, beat. You're beat? Yeah? Was it a rough yeah. day? Uh, 12 hours of work. Oh, that's I've been up yucky. since 4.30 in the morning. Okay. All right. And so an if I told you to yet. have more energy, uh, would you be willing to share that with me? <laughs> uh, maybe. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> energy to get home. I drove Perfect. 90 miles per hour down the highway in a Jeep. Oh, that's no, not, no, that's no good. I'd be standing in here waiting for Nugs, and I'd be like, where the fuck is he? <laughs> <laughs> no, I always oh. beat the Jeep. Let's talk about who's jumped in here to say hello. We've got uh, Clay Station, Green Dragon, Captain Codwell. We've got Miguel. We've got Reaper. We've got Riddler. Uh, we had a couple uh, follows jump in as well. Um, as you guys are popping in, make sure you say hello. I will let Nugs know that you are here. And if I make the mistake during the stream of calling him Nuggies, it's because that's what I am uh, usually calling him, Nuggies. <laughs> and then my autocorrect. calls me that. Okay, my autocorrect likes to call you nuggets as well, so <laughs> good stuff. But uh, let's talk about the important information. We'll do it a few times throughout the stream. I don't know what Nuggies is doing right now. He's trying to put the finger through the hole. Um, uh, oh, like that? <laughs> I'm not really sure. All right, Nugs, <laughs> tell us, where can we find you online? Um, on Facebook, it's... Uh, just Super Nugs, spelled okay. the same way this is, without the AKM and the underscore, it's Super Nugs 420. Okay. Um, Twitch, it's this. Uh-huh. It's and AKM? Yes. Okay, on Twitch. But don't okay. put the R in it, because some uh, jackass was too high when he put changed his name and <laughs> forgot to put the R in it, so now I gotta wait another month. So it's Soupy Nugs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. I'm going to run this by you guys real quick. If you haven't followed him yet, this is where you can find him. On Facebook, cover up the AKM underscore, and you're looking for what looks like Super Nugs, but it's spelled S-U-P-3-R-N-U-G-G-Z-420 on Facebook. On Twitch, you can find him like this. And are the periods in there too? Yes. Okay. A dot K dot M underscore S U P three N U G G Z four two zero because um the um R is not on Twitch currently until he can change it again. <laughs> Thank you for the like, Red. <laughs> All right. If you're jumping into this stream, if you can like and follow and share Super Nugs content, that would be lovely. I appreciate you guys all being here. We're getting ready to go into the questions. <laughs> <found me>. um, <laughs> I just want to say. Thank you, Nugs, for not getting pulled over speeding on your way here to join us. <laughs> they all right. Catch me first. <laughs> well, I'm just glad that, you know, you're here and that the hours of day didn't put you in some kind of coma before jumping on live with me. And you are currently live, correct? Correct. Okay. Are you live Facebook on only, though. Facebook only? Okay, guys. So your job on Facebook is to pop over into his stream and make sure you hit those likes. Make sure you hit the reactions. Make sure you share and follow the content. Uh, that's the purpose of my interviews, is giving this guy the attention. All right, here we go. You ready for the easy questions? Maybe. Okay. Uh, where are you located? Dirty Jersey. Dirty Jersey. Okay. And uh, outside of Population One, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm in construction. I do all underground utilities, water mains, sewer main, ventricles, okay. gas mains. We dig it. And okay. we do asphalt, concrete. You name it, we do it. Okay. Beautiful. So you are a hard labor working guy. You do a lot of, uh, like, hard work that we sometimes don't appreciate daily. Is that right? Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I would classify that the, as I'm exactly right. I'm the type of person right. is, if there's a water break, I'm the uh -huh. one coming out to fix your water for you to continue having water. Mm -hmm. All of the niceties that we don't appreciate daily, Mr. Nugs here. Thank you. Thank you for your work and your service in your job. I appreciate it. All right. I don't, Let's I talk it. about... <laughs> you hate it? <laughs> Uh, let's talk about the game. That's where people are jumping in and saying hello and watching this content to learn about Nugs and Population One and your experience. So let's talk about when did you start playing Population One? 
Um, it's like a year and two months now. Hey. Okay. Listen. So somewhat near the beginning, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. We're about, about our two like month, our two year anniversary. Okay. All right. So you've been playing for a while. Let's talk about Super Nugs. How did you get your gamer tag, and what does it mean to you? <laughs> Um, I got it from my TikTok, and the meaning to me is just really it shows all your hard dedication work as a content creator. Okay. I mean, it's I don't take it as to mean anything special of being good player or a bad player or a good streamer. It just means you put in the work to get it. That's right. It shows it's appreciation for your hard work. All right. And does nugs mean anything to you? I'm always curious because I like to call you nuggies, and you know, nuggets pops up. Uh, super nugs. Does that mean anything particular to you? Uh, yeah. Tell me about that. Hey, um, listen. well, I've been smoking weed since I was seven years old, and I'm now 33. Mm-hmm. I smoke every day, all day. Mm-hmm. Even while I'm working. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, nugs, I appreciate you sharing that. I, I know now where nugs comes from. <laughs> Thanks for yeah. jumping in, guys, and liking the content. Uh, make sure you say something in chat. I will let Super Nugs know that you're here. All right, as we're moving on, let's talk about what level you are and when did you get this beautiful golden hattie? I got this golden hattie not too long ago, very recently. The last yep. SMG Mayhem got me it with a 24-kill yep. game. That's right. I saw, yeah. I saw this. <laughs> 24 was... kills in the in the TDM and you got your golden hattie. <laughs> yeah. That is pretty I was awesome. fighting for it for the whole week to get it. Playing extra, trying to get it before I went back to work because I knew how long it was going to take. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a huge success. So let's just appreciate that for a moment. Congratulations on your golden hattie. And then at your next adventure Thank for the you. next skin. <laughs> right? And how long that might take you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about uh, the front part of your gamer tag here. We're going to ask you, are you in a clan? Correct. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that clan and uh, what the uh, n initials mean. AKM stands for All Kills Matter. Whether okay. they're dirty kills, clean kills, or just plain old, you should have never got that kill, it still matters. <laughs> and that's because because we came up with that because of competition now since Ark died and uh, UGL and everyone's picking up it's all more towards damage and kills m mm -hmm. more than placement now yep so okay and I love the AKM <laughs> all right what's up Alberto thanks for joining hello barbed wire thanks for popping in I am interviewing super nugs we're just getting started just sharing out some basic details of his population one experience and uh, let's talk about those tournaments that you mentioned do you play in tournaments what tournaments do you play in what is your interest in them tell me how that works for um, you I play in UGL uh, I do duos and squad in that and I also run uh, PPC EU and I own ICWL okay and but that's uh, probably going bye byes uh-huh I've heard a little bit about that um, tell me who you tend to play with in the tournaments who do you uh, do you play with your clan who do you pick if it's duos like uh, how do you pick who you my play main with? squad is uh atheist bro and becca mm -hmm. we've been playing comps since the beginning of our comps together so i usually don't play without them i do play with uh ghosty and duos okay ghosty's a beast <laughs> ghosty yes. scares me what's up asha thanks for joining the stream um we, okay a little tip to uh -huh. how we got him there uh -huh. Me and Zone Killer actually used to play with them, and we would play hey, the game called listen. Steal the Kills. Uh huh. Okay. It teaches you how to stack people more properly. Because if you're okay. trying to steal kills from each other, you're all going to shoot at the same person. As soon as you see someone else shooting them, you're shooting at them. Do you think and it that turns might. Them into a monster. Do you think that could work on me? Because, like, I suck. Yes. <laughs> What is up, Raging Handicap? Thanks for popping in, man. 
um, uh, yeah, like I would totally be interested in a, a little bit of coaching here and there. Um, I tend to be a, a laid back fun streamer. I, you know, I run the friendship game on Fridays now where I'm more interested yes. in making a friend uh, inside the game with an opponent than I am with the win. So, uh, yeah, you competitive players don't want to play with me on Fridays for sure. But, uh, yeah, I, would, I would, wouldn't mind getting a little better. Actually, that's a lie. I actually play with a lot of new players, actually. Most of AKM is new people for comp scene. Okay. That I'm bringing into the comp scene and bringing and going to coach them up. Gotcha. And they're okay. all decent players for pubs, but they've never, ex a lot of them have not experienced comps at all. Okay. They're just starting well, to experience. That would be me, but I can't join AKM. I have to stay neutral, unbiased. Um, I feel like that's mm -hmm. important for my status, but uh, I would love uh, a little bit of coaching. I don't mind being yelled at. Lady yells at me whenever we play together. She's always, you know, puts me on a leash and tells me where to go. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, I don't yell. I just laugh. No, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like really mean, strong coaches. I pay attention very well. <laughs> what is that, Brent? Thanks for popping in to say hello to Super Nugs. What's up, Agwo? Thanks for sharing. <laughs> What's up, Ryan? All right. You brought me here to your favorite spot on the map. And just to show where everybody, where Nugs brought me, he brought me here to Metropolis, right here on top of the uh, rooftop over here, next to Kong Tower and stuff. Nugs, tell me why. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm right here. Okay, tell me why this is your favorite spot. I honestly don't know why I picked it. It might be because usually, like, when you come from across that way, uh huh. Over by hey, Frontier on hey. the pods and you come in, you uh -huh. could land up on the Kong Tower, but half yep. the time you get a DT up there, M10, or Matadors. <laughs> Something that doesn't, yeah, Maddie's. I don't want that all the way up there. <laughs> you get Maddie's and on top of Kong and you're like, woohoo! <laughs> everyone loves gun store. If you can jump quick enough and get up here, there's usually a gun right here. Yep. And down the way. So. And then I you can pos here position right yourself off. right here and uh, either get the people who are no. down there or run over there I'd and fly at them and shoot. <laughs> yeah, because you guys are, are rushing crazy fools. I'm usually that person down in the gun store that you're killing. Like, what the heck? <laughs> okay. Um, well, the next part of this interview is playing the weapons loadout game. And so I plan on loading up with um, a bunch of P90s and going from there. So do you know how to play the weapon hey, loadout game? Listen. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to pick my loadout. Yeah, pick my, your favorite. My main loadout, my very happy hey, place. Listen. Yes, and well, I'm going to well, try well. and listen. guess it and match it as well. We've got lots of people jumping in here. Porcher, what's up, Vilto, Michael? Thanks for popping in. We're getting ready to play the weapons loadout game for what's Super up, Nugs. Let's see here. Thanks for the like. We're gonna have open chat so we can talk to each other, but we're not gonna share what we're picking up because I've gotta guess this. We all know that this is not one of my finest areas lately. Um, it's been a while since I've hit 100%. Damn, you got super speed on. Heck yeah, I did. I like. I like, I like chat to like laugh at how I can't do anything at super speed because I'm going literally too fast. <laughs> Then you need right. to play more of the SMG Mayhems when they come out. Yeah, I don't know. I I love see. I thought that was going to be my thing. I really did because SMGs are my thing. I like Uzis. I like Umps. I, I mean, I really like SMGs. But it ended up being where there were so many sweats in there that I got frustrated because I just got murdered nonstop. I don't know. That's what I'm talking about. I need to get better. I need to get good. <laughs> All right, guys, in chat, here we go. We're going to start guessing and picking. Um, hey, all right. Thanks for those likes, guys. Now, I do see him carry this around often. I'm, I'm not sure if I need to carry it around, but I'm going to do it for now. I do know he likes these. He prefers these over these. So we're going to run with these. All right. I'm very curious to see what you pick. I know. Every time I, I say that stuff. I can be all over the place. 
<laughs> I know you can. I know. I have been lurking and I have been watching for a while now, and I swear I have seen you pick up every single freaking gun. It drives me nuts. The only thing consistent, <laughs> chat, is this. I see this every time. So, this is another one that at first in his streams I noticed he didn't like, but actually I felt like maybe I was wrong because he was playing with it in almost every game. Funny enough, we run up to this one right here, and I'm going to tell you guys, it wouldn't surprise me if this was in his loadout. I think this is a comfort item. So let's see what we've got so far. I feel good about these, and I feel good about this. This is a question mark. I feel like I'm going to keep this. I want to keep this one. So that's where we're at right now. This. I know he likes these. I know he likes these, but I haven't found what I think is his favorite weapon, so I'm gonna have to do a replacement of one of them. Here we go. Thanks for all those likes, guys. I appreciate you jumping in, saying hello, watching the content, my interview with Super Nugs. You can find him live on Facebook right now. All right, still don't see it. Neither do I. Oh, well, that's good. Maybe I removed it from the game. <laughs> I'll find it. I will find it too. <laughs> okay. I'm not even confident that it's your favorite. Where are these suckers, man? Hey, listen. So, you guys hear my new um, alerts? I had to ask Sly if it was okay that I copied him because it's Navi from Zelda. I love Zelda. Ooh. And so you know they're making a Zelda movie. <laughs> they are? What? What? A movie? Yep. Netflix. Oh my god. Right. I got my load out. Okay, I'm just wait I'm just looking for Listen. one more item. One more item. And I'm struggling to find it. I'm literally not finding it anywhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, alright, guys. I know he likes these instead of the other ones, and now I feel like I need more than... Uh, I think I'm going to replace that, which is super weird because it's two of the same ammo. Now I'm confused. I think I want to replace this. Oh, Lord. That's right! Those are my new sounds, guys! Thanks for those stars, barbed wire! <laughs> Everything hey, Zelda. <laughs> so dumb. I love it. Okay. Uh, ooh, there's a nice purple op, but uh, I'm just saying I'm not going to be carrying that around for nugs. Well, shoot. I've got uh, a loadout that I'm comfortable with. I just What's feel, up? feel like maybe Thanks. I'm looking for a different item. Thanks for the like. Uh, it's not this, but it is that color. All right, nugs, where are you at so I can find you? My favorite spot. Okay, so you're right above again. Perfect. I'm almost there. I'm just uh, making a decision on if I find oh, it is. Thanks for that the like. last item to come up to you with. I'm super disappointed I haven't seen it. I should have gone to gun store. That's probably where Thank you went. Thank you for stopping by. Did you go to gun store? Is that where you went? Goes the... No. Hey, listen. <gasps> oh, I went okay. to Summit. <laughs> Okay, this is what I wanted to consider switching it with. We're just going to make that decision. If it's totally wrong, oh well. <laughs> All right, here's Nugs. Ghosty. I kind of want to sneak up on him and kill him, like, right now. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> All right, you ready to do this? <laughs> maybe. Mm-hmm, maybe. <laughs> All right, here we go. So... First, uh, thank you guys for jumping in and smashing those likes, reactions. Uh, Uzoka and Oseal, Jimmy and Common Ground. I appreciate you guys being here, loving the content. Here we go. All right. First item I grabbed, I'll put it right here. I grabbed a samurai. Do you have a samurai? Yeah, okay. I noticed that you like the samurai kill. There was a, a stream I was watching of yours where you literally snuck up on somebody who was just standing there and you were so calm and patient about it. It was hilarious. You were like, do, do, <laughs> slice, slice. Do you know what I'm talking about? You were in outpost. Was, yeah, it was. Uh huh. 
Was it Outpost or Kingdom? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Outpost. I think you were inside the very back tower, inside that little um, enclosed room, and you crawled up the oh, ladder. Oh, yeah. Went, slice, slice. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I just got someone. Funny. He was hiding there with his sword. I looked up, and then I waited, <laughs> and then I climbed, jumped up, and got him. You did. And, and everybody was so calm. Your squad was calm about it. You were like, and then you actually used one of your, um, your sticker things, and you put it on the ceiling in the room and pointed up to him mm -hmm. um what what um stamp was that that you put on the ceiling it was funny turn around yeah <laughs> he killed the dude and then he put that up and pointed at it to look <laughs> it was super <laughs> funny nice work okay the next thing i grabbed was um i noticed that if you carry shield you go for shakers do you have shakers yay Chris Geox 3000. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Uh, Hello. Thanks for popping in on Twitch. I appreciate you being there. Okay. Next item I grabbed that I believe you prefer over the cans is bananas. You got some bananas. Look at this guy so far. I'm running 100%. Now is where we go downhill. <laughs> I was going to say, you didn't get to the guns yet. I know, exactly. <laughs> and I, I'm not... I'm not very sure about them. Okay, the next item that I picked instead of a gun is a good nade. Do you have nades? Yay, we got nades too, okay. Um, somebody do the math for me. You, you planning on nading my ass? I saw that. <laughs> Don't act like I didn't see that. I totally saw that, Nugs. I, I know you know what happens. I know, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. To the part where I feel like I got totally wrong. Your guns. Chris Geox 3000. I grabbed a DT. Said, <laughs> you must watch him a lot. Yeah. Uh, I, I watch him enough, I do use but it. this dude is so random with shit that I'm like, I don't know. Okay, so it's probably not, not a DT. Though. Not your favorite. Okay, so in place of this, um, I had an RFB as well. Um, I wasn't sure, so I swapped it out. Do you have an RFB? No. No, okay. It totally is one of my here. favorites, but it's not my favorite. Okay. All right. The next I one. I do play with it a hell of a lot, though. Uh-huh. I grabbed the AKM. Do you have one of them? Okay. Is this your favorite weapon? Yes, that's my favorite assault rifle. Okay. Phew. So, I mean, guys, I'm not feeling too bad because that means I only got one wrong. So, let's see what your last favorite gun is for your loadout. The MP5. So I almost grabbed that baby too. I did notice that you're very comfortable with the MP5. Um, and I thought it was funny because the reason I didn't pick it was that it's often told to me that the AK hey, is listen. the giant and the MP5 is the junior. And so like it's the mm -hmm. same gun essentially. Do you have um, a long range gun that you prefer? Um... Usually, if I am gonna play a long range gun, I will play a purple op. You took both of them. Fuck yeah, I took both of us. <laughs> the shit you were doing. Fuck yeah, I did. Are we doing this? I suck with the AK. Oh my god. He's gonna kill me. You guys, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh my god. Ha! 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 <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> What is up, Tatted? What is up, Play Doh? I wanted game? the sword, that's why I was hanging out near it. I know. I totally knew what you smiling were up to, buddy. Smiling eyes. I didn't want the maids. Uh-huh. So yeah, chat. I totally knew I would have to get him once he started lingering around those samurai swords. I knew I had to grab both of them because that was his plot. That's right. That's right. I was Two trying steps to trick ahead, you with the nade. That's why I picked up the nade. Uh -huh, <laughs> I didn't want you taking uh -huh. the swords from me. Maybe, maybe less weed and more concentration, eh? No. <laughs> no, that is my concentration juice. Oh God, You're, it's your concentration juice. Nice. Yes. All right. Well, um, yeah. So let's talk a little bit more about these weapons. But first, tell us where we can find you online because you are live right now. And I want folks to be jumping over to Super Nugs to share the love. This is about him. So where can we find you online? Facebook, Super Nugs 420. Perfect. Okay. You guys see it there. It's S-U-P-3 
R N U G G Z uh, four two zero. Okay, so it looks like super nugs, but the E is a three. That's how you can find them. All right, let's talk more about these weapons. Do you have any secrets to share with me? Teach me. Well, you want to know why I like the AK? Yeah, show me. I'll show you. Okay. Mhm. Mm Besides Watch this beautiful easy. skin, my favorite skin. Said. Oh, only there. So what is it that you're doing that's making it easier? I'm left-handed. So to read oh, shit. on the I didn't AK even notice is this. one fluid motion. Uh-huh. As I come up, I... Oh, dang. Okay. Gosh, I want to, like... I should try and change um, my uh, P90. hands once to see if I'm better. <laughs> P90, point uh -huh. down. And it'll come up to the spot. Same Point with down? MP5. Yeah, just a tad. Point Especially if you're flying. Oh, you're taking the ammo too. I need ammo to try this out. Okay. Chris okay. Geox 3000. I really bad with this thing. Said. Down. Doski have a shirtless. Okay. Chris yeah, Geox yeah. 3000. All right, let me get some. Uh... Said. Stream. Oh, because you're left handed, and so you can reload and do this side instead of like that. It's not oh, a you're so why I like lucky. Okay, yeah. Um, even though this is bolt on mm -hmm. the left side, it's still mm -hmm. easy. Twist okay. your hand like that as you are pulling the clip in, and then you can just automatically one forward motion. Okay. Do you know any other left hand streamers, players, that benefit from this? Um, I think I've only ran into two people that play left handed. Okay. Out of my whole year and two months. Okay. okay. For some reason, I thought maybe Shadow was, maybe? Maybe I'm he wrong. He might be. Uh, for some hey, reason, I thought maybe can... he was. Yo, guys, thanks for those shares, likes, and uh, uh, popping over to see the content today. We're interviewing Super Nugs, hey, who is a great player at Population One. He's a streamer. That's why we're here to talk about his content, to talk about his experience in the VR game. So... Let's talk about your least favorite weapon, Nugs. Show me. Introduce me to uh, Lady Not Love. <laughs> Let's see if it pops up. Chris Geox 3000. Mm -hmm. Is that it right there? Does he do shirtless streams? Do you do shirtless streams? We have a question in chat. Do you do shirtless uh, streams? Yeah, usually the majority of the time when I'm playing, I'm shirtless. Okay, majority of the time, he is shirtless, guys. I Thanks am not for right following. Because I literally ran right through the door. I'm still in my work clothes, so. Okay, okay. Hey, so uh, hey, if that's what you're looking for, we do have a list of shirtless streamers available, and this is one of them, Super Dugs. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's talk about uh, the weapon wheel. When you're loading up, do you uh, go back to it and organize how your loadout is? Oh, yeah. Talk it, about it, that. Uh, Chris my, Geox uh, 3000. always goes to the right, right Set. above the paddles. Uh -huh. But not then, on camera and ha ha only on the floor uh, laughing. My quick shooting gun, whichever, say I pick uh, an AK or an MP5, that will go right above it. Uh huh. And the one next to that, if I am going to play a long range gun, it will go there. If not, just my secondary machine gun will go there. Okay. And then uh, my nades, then my heels. Okay. That's what I try very to good. go for. I see a very common uh, theme to a lot of your guys' loadout with the uh, samurai sword and then the guns and then the nades and then the heels. Um, so I'm just curious if that's like an overall preference. If you guys are in chat and that is your overall preference of how you do your loadout, um, I'd just be interested to uh, learn, like kind of maybe do a poll on that. If you do your organization on your wheel, uh, which order do you guys like your loadout in? And uh, I'll check that out and see if there's a, a theme there. Okay. Next question. Let's talk about Nugs. Get me interview, Ghosty. Yeah. What's yeah. up, Chris? What's up, guys in Nuggies Ow. chat? Hello. <laughs> All you right, Nugs. Tell me. Let's talk about what is the easiest way to kill you. Do you have a weakness? Um. 
if you spot someone talking shit in the lobby, mm -hmm. I will hunt them down so it makes it easy for other players to come up and kill me because I don't care about anyone else. I am specifically hunting one specific person down, and okay. I will try and run for anyone that's in my way. If okay. you are in front of me, I'm, I'm just rushing. So if I'm desperate for Super Nug's attention, all I have to do is find you in lobby and be like, dude, you suck, right? No, you're friends. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't do that with, well, I mean, I chase down friends no matter what. <laughs> okay, well, uh, hypothetically, if I was not your friend and we did not know each other, that would work. You would give me that one-on-one uh, -on -one attention. <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect, okay. I'd go looking for you. Uh-huh, that I, is. It, I like to make clips of people who talk shit during the, uh, waiting in the lobby. And then how you take care of them after. Yeah. <laughs> You're so kind. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about the content sharing that you do. You stream. Why do you stream? Honestly, I started streaming just for shits and giggles and to watch rewatch my gameplay because mm -hmm. you can learn a lot from your mistakes by rewatching your gameplay. Yeah. And learn ways to fix it. It's just like you're watching someone play chess. You're going to see the moves before they will, mm -hmm. the better move, and it just helps. And then as things progressed, I, I got more serious about it. Okay. And, and you're starting to uh, and... feel like it's uh, not just watching your game pay, gameplay, but you're adding to the Population One community of sharing content. And um, Yes. I love watching you. I love watching you because you're I mean, really funny. Um, I don't know if you know this about yourself, but you have a very dry sense of humor that I appreciate. <laughs> that would probably be the weed. <laughs> the weed. And you guys haven't even seen a half of it. I still haven't fully <laughs> opened up with it. Oh my I can God. get bad. <laughs> Adisa, thanks for that follow. Romeo, thanks for the follow. I appreciate you guys jumping in here. Um, I'm enjoying hey, time here with listen. Super Nugs, and uh, we're just interviewing him on his Population One experience and his content sharing as a streamer. Um, let's talk about when you are in the game. You get to pick who you play with. Uh, how do you pick your teammates? Do you base it off of if you're streaming or not? Do you pick them ahead of time? Uh, how do you find your teammates um it don't matter to me who i play with while streaming or not streaming well actually i don't play hey, without streaming listen. Mm -hmm. so every time i play the streams on for the past year and two months that's how it's been okay um but it really don't bother me who's with me i chris geox 3000 available said, and closest to my me. boyfriend and just got like, excited because uh, he overheard Sarius song around like two three o'clock ish eastern uh -huh. time yep um in the mornings it's usually hey, reaper listen yep if I'm on in reaper's the there in the mornings yep usually looking for someone <laughs> um sometimes i'll just post out on the discord say hey who wants to play Want to run randos or i'll just run randos mm -hmm. all right um and then let's talk a little bit about uh the people that you play with you said that you don't mind running with new players is that correct uh i do and i don't okay i talk mean to if me they are that. absolutely oblivious to the game <laughs> and you can tell they didn't do the tutorial at all yeah then I get a little irritated. Okay. But I have no problems taking on someone who just got the game, you know, they did the tutorial and now they're in a match. I have no problem with teaching them tips and tricks. Eager to learn, get better kind of along. stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about running solo? Do you like to play games solo or would you prefer to have teammates with you? I prefer to have teammates, but I'm also, I do like my solos because mm -hmm. cause you get to 1v3 people. Okay. And you it do. Just up <laughs> your yep, experience. You do. I love watching um, uh, a lot of you streamers that run solos on purpose. You have days where you will not squad up with people who are requesting you and sending you invites over and over again. Uh, yeah, that's raging. Hey, hey, <laughs> he me all the time when he's running them. On, on uh, Thursdays. Like, oh, Thirsty Thursdays. <laughs> 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate it because I learn hey, a lot um, out of an individual's gameplay. That is the best way for me to lurk as an interviewer uh, because you're not relying on your teammates. You're doing what hey, you do best. You listen. have to have your best guns. You have to be on point. You have to do your, your game moves. You're directing the other two to come with you and they may not listen. So... Um, hey, that's listen. the best way for us to learn about the streamer's preferences, just so you guys know. Um, let's also talk about uh, hey, playing listen. with the youth of Pop 1. There is a, a lot of people have a preference on whether or not they'll play with squeakers. Uh, what do you think about playing with the youngins hey, that join listen. us? If they're absolutely obnoxious, no, I can't take it. No? <laughs> It's All right. not that I have anything against kids. Hey, I have seven kids. Listen. So okay. It's just, uh, uh, to me, population one is my peace of mind time. Sure. But, I mean, if they're respectful or not, that super annoying squeaker noise, <laughs> then I can. Like, Ghosty, he's only 15 years old. I love playing with him. Mm-hmm. So if they have um, a, a certain level of maturity, it's fine. But uh, if they're all yeah, over the wall going, blah, 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 If it's a 13-year-old like that blah, wants to interruption. curse all blah, blah, over blah, blah, the place. Blah, blah, blah. Interruption. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah? I will do. I, okay. I, I won't play with the ones like that. <laughs> okay. And I don't mean to hey, no offense listen, by it, Dom. Hey, it's just, listen. hey, I can't. And it's not going to make a good team if, we're, if okay. that's going to affect me. All right. Uh, this is a beautiful skin that you own here. Uh, there's probably many others that you own since you've been in the game just over a year. What is the earliest skin that you have uh, that you've either earned or you've purchased? What's the earliest one that you own? Blue PJ. Blue PJ? Well, of course. We... Which is the one that... <laughs> Which is the earliest, let's say, legendary skin that maybe you own that's not available to everyone? <laughs> uh, when Frontier came out, the Saloon Girl. Oh yeah. She was the first one I bought. With the gears and the jugs. Yeah, and the <laughs> of guy. Milk I'm talking about. And I also got the guy with that too. Uh huh. Very cool. But that All was right. the first one. I don't really purchase the skins or anything like that. Uh huh. Okay. Um, let's talk about those skins. If you could create your own skin, if you were to like work with Big Box and they said, pick your own skin, Nugs, what would you want to see them create for you? Um, actually, I'm getting ready to work on something hey, about listen. that. And it's actually going to be my, uh, either I'll use it as an avatar or just my logo. Okay. Do but you want to share? Because hate. I don't want hey, you to give it away. Listen. Oh yeah, it's fine. Okay. It's, okay. I love the nuclear haze, but there's some touch-ups. You know how they have the peace one with the shrooms mm -hmm. on it. Yep. Yeah, I want to make the nuclear haze with pop leaves and eyes and all over the uh, clothes. Nice. So you're gonna be working on an avatar, hey, is listen. what I heard. Yes. Okay. Yes. And so um, we'll talk a little bit about your stream setup and maybe how that's gonna be changing. Um, I look forward to uh, watching that transition because I love I love the avatar uh, streamers that go out there, put in the work and the effort to have one. But um, I'm just kind of a fan of the you know cartoon or animal characters. <laughs> I love seeing faces and uh, mm -hmm. real people, but uh, having both of them on there definitely leaves you know a little you know thought to the imagination of what that person must look like and <laughs> i don't know i just i love the animation of the avatar see i'm still going to run my webcam as well okay so you're going to have I both will of them i'll still run the webcam yes yeah, so mm -hmm. i'll just replace my logo with the avatar you sound quite like a techie guy would you consider yourself uh, good with computers and this kind of stuff yes okay perfect um, all right. One of the questions earlier we talked about your favorite place on the map. Um, we didn't talk about your least favorite spot on the map. Would you tell me where that is? I'm going to pull the map up next to you. I know you hey, can't see it, listen. but I can. So what is your least favorite spot on the map? Uh, I would have to say Plains. Plains. So we're talking about the center area here around uh, Tower. And by Kingdom yeah. Farmlands, yep. And uh, hey, 
Listen. What would we want to replace planes with? If Big Box took out that giant planes area and slapped in something else, what would you ask hey, for? Listen. Um. Hmm. You know, I hey, really listen. don't know. I mean, okay. I think it would be cool to see, like, maybe a motocross track in there or something. Hey, like a stadium. Listen. Something like that. Like a stadium area. Okay. Ooh, like a Coliseum? Metro, the newer. Yeah. Ooh, nugs. That would even be... Hey, that would be awesome. And then they could create a TDM that we could use in customs. It could be a Just Coliseum for, hey, for clan wars, for 1v1s, for... Oh, wow. Yeah. And you could have people in the stands watching and... Nugs, that's a great idea. I'm hey, glad we listen. computed that together. <laughs> I'm glad you had it. I just it don't think I... there's enough in planes. <laughs> yeah. It, it's just a broken down hey, windmill and a bunch of rocks. So. <laughs> For sure. All right. I'm going to give a, uh, some attention to the folks that are jumping into chat. Um, because there's quite a few here that have jumped in and if you've said hello I'm gonna go ahead and go through the list here I know I've said hello all the way up until let's see here tatted is in here and Plato's in here I think that's where I ended George thanks for joining and jumping in true prime thanks for being here buddy um, and Mark Hurst um, my um, <laughs> my uh, stream lurker bandit twin himself <laughs> everybody else that's jumping in and liking and uh sharing the content thank you all for being here um i don't typically recognize everybody in chat but there's quite a few people here super nugs and so um i just want to say that uh we can find this guy online facebook live right now if you guys want to find him you can find him at SuperNugs420. That's S-U-P-3-R-N-U-G-G-Z 420. You can find him live and uh, share his content and like it as What's well. What's up, Mark? Thanks he is working share, on bud. his uh, uh, 1K followers as his first goal. And hey, here we go into listen. some more questions. Ready, Nugs? Yep. All right. If you started playing the game today... What is hey, something that listen. you would want to know right away? Something you hey, would teach a brand listen. new player? Something you need to know? Um, proper way of building fast. Okay, can you show me if I'm? Uh, you want me to kind of like come at you? <laughs> I'll grab. I'll grab your favorite gold AK here and come at you. Here we go. Ready? Hey, my build. It disappeared. It's hard to do it in here. <laughs> Okay, and what is it with the builds that you're doing different from just a, a normal structure? Uh, the 90s. Oh, tell me I about that. I just like that. doing 90s. Okay, so he's doing it's 90 degree angles. Do doot, do doot. Um, all of his builds here are 90 degree angles. And so, hey, Nugs. <laughs> Can you tell me why there's an advantage to those kinds of builds? Uh, it gives you more different ways to block yourself from getting shot. Okay. So you don't just have a build in front of you mm -hmm. like that. Uh huh. Now, like with that, you have something else to fly behind. You can climb up, get behind. Different directions. Jump down behind something. Got different it. Different directions to go. Awesome. And the higher you are, the better the better advantage when you're hey, rushing listen. okay especially well, if you got enough builds to get up like that and then keep on going straight after them and putting builds in front of you perfect i think i'm going to use your advice because um i've i've learned to build i've learned to build a lot and fast but i've never tried different 90 degree angles to again give myself an advantage of direction so um i think i'm going to start teaching myself that so thank you every um, lobby i practice the 90s in lobby it just helps with your speed and mm -hmm. your placement because your placement really matters when you're pulling a build up because okay. you could fuck it up <laughs> um would you be willing to share your stats with us do you have those handy i could probably crap but yeah that's easy 
<laughs> and everybody here in chat, hello, hello. Antoine, uh, Trin, On, thank you all for liking the content and being here. Just waiting for Nugs to pull up his stats here so uh, we can listen to how good he is at the game. I've played with Nugs and he carries me, but that's never saying much. Almost anybody can carry me or yeah, can carry me. So um, <laughs> oh, my stats don't say nothing for my gaming. Yeah, exactly, um, and uh, they typically don't when you you know play with different randoms and you play with different types and levels of players and different times of day. It all matters who you're playing with sometimes. Uh. 5,019 games played, okay. I got 1,041 wins, mm -hmm. 8,269 kills, 207 mil, or 20 million, no, 2 million, 77,538 damage, hey, uh, my win listen. percentage is pretty much 21%, is 20 and 3 quarters. Mm -hmm. uh, kills per game is at 1.65. Damage per game four thirteen ninety three. Okay. Now and my see, dailies are usually yep. a lot better though. Uh, that's what I was just gonna say. Is uh, that's your overall? Uh, your dailies just by watching you, I know are much higher. I know are much higher because when I watch you, you're very beastly. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the rank placement system that was in place not too long I ago. It. You loved it. Tell me why you loved it. Tell me why uh, it worked out for you. Because it made every game challenging. People were actually playing for something. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not having fun with it, that's because you don't want to have fun. <laughs> you can still have fun and play comp. It's how you and your teammates react. I understand a lot of people didn't want to play with other people because of the skills set. But it's just the same as your stats. If you care about your rank points so much, then why beforehand were you playing with noobs and not worrying about your stats? Because it's the same damn thing. Okay. So would you say you would like it to come back? Yes. Okay. What if it was a mode? So if it came back as a mode I... and then the other ones would be squads and war and TDM, it would come back like that? You would like that? Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, let's talk about Population 1, why you started playing. Um, is there anything in particular that Pop 1 has done for you personally that has helped you? You get rage out. Get rage out? Yeah, like yeah. the, the cool off of work coming home from an awful day, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, I would agree Where's with my you mind? there. <laughs> I would 110% agree with that's how it has helped me. I hate my job right now, and uh, I come home, I jump on this game, and it's like, okay, I feel better. <laughs> I could lose every single game and kill very low numbers of people and get out of this game and feel better. <laughs> um, all right. Let me ask you some questions that get to know you more as Super Nugs, as a person outside of Population One. Can I ask some more personal questions? Mm hmm Super cool. Um, mm -hmm. What is your favorite food to eat? Deer. Beer, beer or deer? <laughs> deer. Deer, okay. You know, the things with the antlers that run around yeah. like this. You like deer. Okay. Do you hunt yeah, your own I love deer? deer? Um, not at the moment. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed okay. near guns. Okay. Um, so where do you get your deer from? Do you go to like a local butcher shop or do you know somebody who hunts? Uh, I have family and friends that hunt, but uh, you can go into Acme here, which is a grocery store. I don't know mm -hmm. if you have Acme. I, I, I um, have heard of them. Actually, I don't have them out here. They actually sell bison. And mm -hmm. deer meat, Very only certain cool. things, not much. Okay. And how do you like your deer meat? Or you just hit it on the road meat? and take it home with you. No, that's terrible. Um, <laughs> honestly, I love deer meat so much. If it's my deer, like that I got while I was hunting, when mm -hmm. I butcher it, I throw the meat right on a wood stove without a pan, 
no seasonings whatsoever, let it cook, and just pick it right off the wood stove and eat it. So um, let me ask, do you make stuff with it? Like, do you make ground beef with it? Do you make like... Yep. Steak, sausage, hamburger, Lasagna. Helper. Yep. Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Uh huh. Yep. Burgers. Jerky. Jerky. Oh, yep. yeah. Love jerky. <laughs> okay. Deer. Very interesting. All right. Let's talk about your favorite holiday, U.S. holiday. What is your favorite holiday? Yeah, that's hard. I love Halloween, but I also love Christmas. Okay. That's I'm going to have to say Halloween because it don't cost me as much money. Yeah. High five to the Halloween love. Oof. <laughs> uh, Halloween's also my favorite. Um, I'm so excited every year for Halloween. I love it. <laughs> um, let's talk about if you have time to watch TV or movies or Netflix or whatever, do you have a favorite TV show or movie that you want to share with us? Mm. trying to think for people who are into a drama related movie yeah. I would say Netflix from scratch we, okay. me and my wife just started watching it it's a really good movie to watch as a, with hey, your significant listen. other Netflix from one scratch one of those good family movies Yep. Okay. or The Blacklist that's one of my favorite movies Mm hmm the blacklist and uh, I believe I just bought that if maybe I'm wrong but I feel like I just bought that <laughs> um, it's a big series I think they're on like the 10th season now or nine. Oh, okay maybe it's not the same thing then okay um, favorite talk movie to of me... all though would Fast and Furious okay <laughs> um, talk to me about this <laughs> Zelda movie that's coming out uh, I seen something for it. It's supposed to be Netflix is supposed to be doing it. I gotta look up more and do more research on it. Mm -hmm. but they were showing that's supposed to be coming out in twenty twenty three. A movie. Like so I'm imagining animated or do you know? No, live action. Real people. Okay. All right. I'm a little less sold here. I'm a little worried. <laughs> um uh did you ever I watch uh, when they ran Mario Brothers and Zelda as cartoons when you were younger. Did you ever see that? No, I played the shit out of their games, though. I did, too. Um, they used to have a cartoon show. Um, I don't even remember what days it used to be on, but it would start out with the Mario Brothers and plumbing and have a little thing that happened, and then they'd go in and they'd do Zelda and... Um, I watched that all the time, and uh, so I imagined when you said movie that this would be something animated, but you're saying this is actually live action people. So I'm interested, yes. but uh, I'm I will worried. actually post the information up on my gaming page about it. Love it. Because I'm okay. sure a lot of gamers are going to be interested all over in that. that. These yeah. Looking yeah. over it and seeing if it's worth it. For sure. Mm hmm. All right. Furry critters, let's talk about do you have any pets? Uh huh. Tell me about them. What do you, what do you have? Oh, what do we got there? Thanks, I Mark, for those stars. Two Great Pyrenees hybrids. They're mixed with Siberian Husky. Hey, beautiful. Um, they're brothers, they're two years old. Okay. And what traits I did have... they take on? More of the uh, Husky or. One takes on the husky traits and one takes uh -huh. on the Pyrenees traits. Very interesting. And okay. I, one was the runt and one was the biggest. <laughs> of course, that's how it works. <laughs> All right. What else do you have? Uh, a twelve-year-old Rottweiler. Mm hmm Is he grouchy? Is she very grouchy? She. I She's call her the grouchy. grumbly old bitch. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Does she uh, like to lay on the floor and do nothing, or is she an active old Rottweiler? No, she just lays around anymore on the couch, eats okay. all of the food that we throw her. Okay. Right Good now hand. we're at the point of spoiling her because she's on her last leg, so we're letting her eat whatever she Aww. wants until okay. it's that time. Any other critters? Two cats. Two cats. All right. What color are your kitties? And a leopard gecko. Ooh. White and gray. White and gray. Okay. A leopard gecko. We've got, um, we've got a. Oh wow! I'm a huge brain fart here. We have. I uh, had ducks too, but I lost my last one finally. 
Ducks, huh? Passed. Do you live like yeah. on a large acreage or farmer or anything like that that allows no, you to have? No? I grew up on a farm, but okay. no. Nope. All right. Uh, we have a, a dragon lizard at our house, and he's uh, bearded blood, dragon. Bearded dragon, and he's blood red, and he's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. Oh, His name is Joker. <laughs> I had a, a albino reticulated python. Ooh, scary. Which is the largest snake in the world. Yeah, you don't anymore though? No, he was kind of dumbfounded. He would go to the top of his cage and just drop on his head. And he did it <laughs> way too many times <laughs> and killed himself. Oh my god. He was a retard. Let's move he on. He was great though. <laughs> God, that breaks my heart. <laughs> okay. All right, Nugs. The next question I'm going to have to guess. Do I believe that you are a coffee, energy drink, tea, or soda kind of person? Um, I, I know really you... know that from my streams. <laughs> I know you uh, like the uh, 420, but uh, I'm going to guess that you uh, like the energy drink. Am I right? Um, no? Coffee? You're not wrong but that's not me okay coffee i like all three of them okay coffee in the morning uh energy drinks are no more i can't hey, i actually was listen. born with heart problems so i was never yeah. really supposed to be drinking them that's right they're but dangerous for you <laughs> a shit ton of soda okay Around shit between one and two, two liters of soda a day Yo, Chris, thanks for that follow. Thanks for popping in here and saying hello, doing my interview with Super Nugs, getting through the questions, learning a little bit more about him. Um, I'm on the question back into the game. Let's talk about your warm up. If you start the game up, uh, do you hit the training park? Do you choose TDM or War or Legions? Uh, do you jump straight into squads? What is it that you do? Do you have a warm up or are you just wild man jumping in? I mean, if there's a TDM up and I have no one to run with, mm -hmm. then I'll warm up a couple of games and then jump into squads. Okay. But, I mean, if I'm jumping on for the first time in a day and I got a full squad, nah, we'll go right into it. Okay. All right. Um, do you ever spend any time in the training park? Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's talk about, uh, actually, I'm going to guess if I believe you are a rage quitter, yes or no. Um, gosh, Nugs, I could totally see you, uh, I could totally see you rage quitting. I can totally see it, but I feel like your overall personality, uh, relaxes you enough where you hey, don't need to. Listen. So I'm actually going to go against the grain of believing you could be a really good rage quitter and say no. Correct. Okay. Uh, I is will it... not rage quit. Okay. And is that because you're more of a calmer uh, demeanor or uh, the anger or the rage is actually there? Would you actually do it or um, just no? It's an easy no. Um, no, I mean, it could be done. It depends on, like, the people playing. I mean, if I know that they're just playing games, yeah, I'll get mm -hmm. pissed off and just say, fuck you and quit <laughs> on that point. But that's them not rising me, so I ain't playing. Uh -huh, but, I yep. mean, if it's just because a bad game and the players are doing horrible, they're noobs, how people uh -huh. like to rage quit on them, or they died 500 million miles away from each other, no, <laughs> I'll go across the whole map. Okay. And get res. Like, I'm against quitting on someone. For one, you finish out the game, it betters your stats than from when you quit. Okay. Um, all right, guys, in chat, you're popping in. Lots of you popping in. And I want you guys to, uh, I just pinned Mark mark's comment yes, it is, on the friend. chat Thank you. so that you guys can find where super nugs is live Thanks on facebook stars, right mark. now so if you can go ahead and use that information i want you guys to go into super nugs stream say hello like follow and share his content that would be great Hey, Lightmare, thanks for that follow. I appreciate it. Um, all right, next question for you, Super Nugs. Um, is there anybody that you would like to thank that's helped you uh, create your content, create logos, create, um, you know, answer questions, uh, maybe someone at home that gives you the time to stream and focus on Population One? 
Would you like to thank anybody in or outside of the game? Um, for in the game, Space Roach, Wesley mm -hmm. Snipes, they've helped me out a couple of times Kay. when I had questions to ask about the Facebook streaming. Uh huh. Um, and then my wife for allowing me to play. Thank you, wifey. We appreciate it. We love Nugs and him being here. Uh, thank you to Space Roach and Wesley Snipes. All right. I feel, though, Nugs, a lot of people don't know this about you. You are a super nice guy. You are willing to help people out. You have helped so many people work on their content, work on their stream, answer questions for how to run stuff, um, answer questions about logos and how to do things technically. Um, is that not true? Yes, I have. Yes, you I have. Actually, I helped Nightmare set up his. I helped Catter set up his. Mm -hmm. So um, um, we I've should people out with their Discord servers and everything. Uh -huh. We should share a huge thank you in the Population One community to Super Nugs for some of those other content creators that you guys love to watch. Uh, ones that he didn't even mention that are on Facebook and Twitch and other places. Uh, this guy has had a hand in some of those being successful as well. So um, if you guys are looking for somebody who may be able to help you or answer questions technically or uh, spare some ideas, uh, Super Nugs might be your guy to reach out to. So um, you guys, everyone from all of us, Nugs, thank you. We appreciate you as much as you do put into this game and the, the behind the scenes stuff. Thank you. Um, okay. So the next question is you can answer if it makes you feel uncomfortable. You can give me a list of them. Uh, the question is who is your favorite streamer to watch? Hmm. I'm gonna have to go with Nightmare. All right, we get uh, a vote here for Nightmare because of how much how much work I've put into his content to help mm -hmm. him with his Twitch. Hey, mm -hmm. listen. And I just like to see how he's progressing and give him hints when I can. Beautiful. Well, there you go, Nightmare. You get the vote. Yay. <laughs> um, super important question. You like to stream sometimes shirtless. Well, the other mm -hmm. question we all want to know the answer to is boxers, briefs, or commando when you are rolling on stream? Sometimes two things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never so briefs. You, okay. So you interchange depending on how the weather is maybe? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Gotta get the air flowing. Yep, exactly. <laughs> How quickly you need to get on home from work. <laughs> Maybe you don't have time uh -huh. to put stuff on. <laughs> I know how it works. I know. <laughs> All right. Um, let's talk about those things that I suck at, guys. <laughs> We're going to talk about technical setup, um, the things that you're rolling with to run your stream. That might be the type of headset you wear, the controllers you use. It might be green screen or not, the type of computer you use. Tell me about your stream setup. What do you use? Uh, I have HP Omen 30L. Uh, with a, a Ryzen 7 5600 processor, a 2060 GeForce RTX 2060 card. With 16 gigabyte of RAM, I use Streamlabs, OBS, uh, and I run Oculus Quest 2 with basic controllers. One's actually half eaten for my dog that I've been playing <laughs> with for five months straight, and it's my gun. Nice, nice. <laughs> um... And I use Airlink when I stream mm -hmm. with, and I use the Oculus Mirror since I'm left-handed. If I was streaming without Oculus Mirror, I could not set the eye to render through the left eye for you guys to see what I'm aiming at. Oh, interesting. Like I'm just hip shooting. Yep. A lot of streamers do not know that you can change that on uh, Steam or through Oculus Mirror if you're playing on either version. Okay. Very cool. 
Uh, you mentioned that you were going to be running an avatar soon. You currently run with a webcam and uh, no green screen. Is that correct? No, I don't have enough room for it. I'm okay. literally, I stand right in front of my back door that my wife walks back and forth to go. You do. Sugar, I see so her once in a while. <laughs> yep. I see her walk by and I'm all, Miss Nuggies. <laughs> Hi, Miss Nuggies. <laughs> oh, she's trying to duck and dodge me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I still see her. I know she's there. <laughs> Just have her one time to say, you know, hello. <laughs> if I'm in there, I'll be like, Miss Nuggies. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, when is this transition going to happen with uh, maybe the avatar idea? Is that something new uh, happening soon or in the future? Uh, it's going to be the future, um, probably not for another two or three months. Okay. Because we are also in the process of getting ready to move. Okay. Well, congratulations on the move. That will be fun and not fun all at the same time. <laughs> um, all right. So let's talk about when we hit that launch button and we, we end up here in the lobby and then we end up in the game and we have to make that split decision, hot drop or pod. When do you hot, hot drop. drop? When do you pod? <laughs> um, hot drop. Hot drop for life? Yeah, unless I'm in comps. Okay. I mean, I'll hot drop even the bad spots because there's a little trick not getting shot hot dropping the bad spots. Oh, tell me the trick because I'm really good at hot dropping in bad spots. <laughs> All right. Um... Say you're in Frontier, mm -hmm. you're on that right platform right in here on the map, mm -hmm. and Frontier, you jump off to the right. right platform over here is what he's talking about. Okay, yeah. You come back in here, you fly off behind the platform, and get into the rocky area. Okay, it's back on the rocks. It's all and drop low, and then I use these rocks and drop down into this valley to get into there. Wait, which valley, since I can't see yours? Right here. Well, I can't see yours. Oh, I'm painting it. <laughs> but I can't see it. <laughs> We're in the lobby. <laughs> well, oh. by the valley, I mean like the little intersection, that little oh, like, yep. canyon okay. between the rocks up there. Yep. You can, mm -hmm. When you come up behind the big rock that's up in the mountain, yep. you can come down through there. Okay. All from the hot drop. Oh. But if you play the sides really hard uh -huh. and stay, hi stay high for a little bit, Yep. And then as you're far off to the side, then you drop down as fast as you can. They usually okay. don't see you because they're too busy focusing on someone else. Yeah, and then you can weed them out. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's special. Might try that too. I'm learning a lot from you, but, Nugs. I should have interviewed you a long ass time ago. <laughs> but comps is usually pod. Okay. All right. Uh, the next question, again, is up to you whether or not you want to answer it as a single or you want to give me a list, depending on how it makes you feel. In your opinion today, who is the best Pop 1 player? Honestly, I couldn't tell you that. Okay. Even as my feelings, like, uh, Scanter 47 is awesome. Mm -hmm. But I've also killed him. Mm -hmm. And other people killed them. I mean, we all have our good days and our bad days, so... Oh, for sure. Everybody's killable. That is that is a fact. And you can't go off the stats because a lot of people just play for fun and, and do stupid shit to try and get better or just destroy their stats their first four or five months of playing because mm -hmm. they didn't even know. So, okay. I mean, it's hard to pick the best player, but, I mean, Scanter's pretty sick. Yeah. What do you think? I've heard shots. other names uh, been thrown out before, like uh, Wachu. What do you think about Wachu? Um, no. No? Okay. What I mean, about... he's all right, but uh -huh. I've gotten him plenty of times. Okay. So. What about Sumachi? I still haven't gotten his ass. Okay. I owe him one. Okay. <laughs> But Sumachi. I mean, I like, don't know, before man, that's Scanter a call started out. posting up his stuff, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I would have said Sumachi and so that oh. over my top two players on okay. population one. Okay. Um, what about over on our Facebook streaming group? Um, let's talk about best player 
um, that you can see on stream. Because a lot of the times we don't know who the best players are because they do not share content. Um, and so we go by based off of if we play the game who we've played against and then if we watch a stream who's better than who. Um, is there anybody that you would pin as a, one of the great uh, top streamer players? I would have to go with Hater. Hater, okay. Uh, anything particular about his gameplay that you like? He is an animal with every single gun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He, that's, he's the reason why you see me now picking up everything. Mm-hmm. Because it makes a big difference in the game. Yep. He's not afraid to use a PX4. He will put somebody no, down with a CX4. <laughs> yeah, from like... a distance and accurate. Very uh -huh. accurate. Yep. Uh, like he's... if you didn't know he was a streamer and watched his streams, so I'm sure he's been accused of hacking. Uh, probably. So all, the, all the good players up. have been accused at one point or another of using some kind of hacking. Hey, <laughs> Him with an AKM. That is scary. I don't ever want to be behind the AKM when he's got it in his hand. That's scary. <laughs> For sure. Um, Your okay. other half's funny. He said, I'm the best. Thugs just say it. <laughs> of course, Devil Reaper. Yeah, okay, babe. Of course you think you're the best. Of course you great do. Great player, great teammate. <laughs> but we oh is not the God. best. <laughs> and um, honestly, I would never pick myself as the best. Whether Even if I was, like, proven <laughs> the best, I still wouldn't. Yeah, you're very humble, and I appreciate that as well. Because uh, you are a really good player. You are a really good guy. Um, you're easy to approach and talk to. And uh, if, if they were to find you in lobby, like, you're very calm. There's nothing scary that's... about you. But in the game, it's very scary. <laughs> um, just from that's my only this game. If you didn't meet me in the game and just see me on the streets, you would say otherwise. A lot oh, yeah? of people will not approach me. Oh, would I um, feel like you were scary? Up... I grew up at MC's life. Okay. So, um, Nuggies thugs for life, huh? Persona. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I kind of hold that persona. How I walk, how I talk. Like, I let people know that I ain't someone to be fucked with. That yeah. I will come at you no matter how big you are, how small you are. I don't care. You well, I'm glad to be on your good side. I will still come at you. <laughs> now I have uh, content sharing that you said we're friends, so I'm good. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, last question of the stream. Last question of your interview. Uh, it is, what is your proudest achievement or best moment in Pop 1 that uh, you would want to share? What you would want, if you had it on stream, if you do, awesome. If you don't, what is it that you would want everyone to experience with you? Whether it be like uh, a giant kill fest where you took out 27 people uh would it be a person you met that became your best friend would it be like what would be your either proudest achievement or best moment of pop one um i'd say becoming a leader in the comp community mm -hmm. you are a leader in the comp community a lot of people know you and you're doing great at those comps um i think uh you're doing awesome so um i just want to say thank you for putting yourself out there so everybody can watch how you play you stream so that everybody can uh see your gameplay it's not always easy to do because uh like me i'm not a very good player so when i'm not interviewing i feel like a fool sometimes because people watch me play the game and they're probably like oh my god she's trash um but you do a great job going out there and sharing your content, your skill level. And then in the comp community, um, people know you as a guy that's willing to help, willing to work hard. Uh, you're a great teammate. And uh, thanks for sharing your content. What are you doing there? <laughs> Feeling my hand. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a proud achievement, too. <laughs> What's that? My hand. Your hand? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. What about your hand? This is awesome. It still, it still goes numb. Your okay. hubby knows all about it. He laughed oh. about it. Then he, he totally ignored the situation. Babe, you better tell me about the uh, the numb Nuggies hand when you get a chance. Oh, I, I broke it. 
<laughs> oh, because you, oh, you game. did break it during the game. It was actually broken? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my I God. I remember I watching pushed. the game when it happened. Yeah. Oh, my, you actually broke it. Did mm -hmm. you ever get it fixed? I pushed the bone back down. It literally split the, the bone. I just pushed the bone back down. Did you get it splinted or anything? Did you go to the doctor's? No. No? <laughs> You're no. such a crazy fool. Oh, my goodness. That's why it goes numb. <laughs> That's awesome, Nugs. Okay. Like, if I move my hand like this too uh -huh, quick yeah. while I'm playing, yeah. oh, I'll lose feeling in it. And it shoots up the whole arm. Well, shoot, when I asked you what's your weakness, maybe you should have shared your broken hand. <laughs> oh, no, my gosh. No, because actually, I came back and destroyed a couple of people after that. You kept playing right with a broken hand. <laughs> you guys, yeah. Mukhtar, thank you for following. <laughs> I am uh, wrapping up my interview here with Super Nugs 420 If you haven't already liked his content, you can find him on Facebook and Twitch. On Facebook, you can find him at Super Nugs 420 You guys can see the link that I've pinned on the bottom of the screen of Facebook. On Twitch, you can find him as his name is here without the R. So it's a.k.m underscore SUP3NUGGZ420. So if you guys aren't already following his content, uh, my request to you is Go find this guy, hit the likes and hit the follows uh, and appreciate the content. And if you guys need help with uh, sharing content, technical questions, uh, and you feel like Nugs might be your guy, reach out to him. Uh, you can reach him on Facebook. Uh, do you have a Discord? Yes. Okay. Do you want My to share? My name, uh -huh. 5431. Your name. So is it Super Nugs 420 or? No, the whole thing with the clan. Oh, the whole thing. Oh, <laughs> Why did I forget my name now in it? I don't know. <laughs> I had it up. It's your fault. Uh, of Actually, course it's my fault. This one double. Everything is my fault. It's okay. I'll take it. <laughs> yes, that's exactly how it's spelled out up here. Okay. Hashtag 5431. 5431. Okay. You guys got AKM Super Nugs 420. 50, and my, message, my DMs are open for anyone. Okay. Well, there you guys have it. Um, we're going to say goodbye to Super Nugs and thank you for being here today for your interview. Thank you, Nugs. Are you going to be playing Yay. live after this? Or are you going to keep gaming? Um, I'm going to go smoke a cigarette with my wife. Okay. And then I'm going to quick feed the dogs. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to play probably for like 40 minutes. i got to okay. be up at... 3.50 in the morning. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you going to cut your stream and restart a new one, or are you going to just keep it on? I'm going to cut it and restart a new one. Okay. All right, guys. So if you want to see uh, Super Nugs in a little bit, uh, pop in to his stream later, and uh, you can tell him that you just saw his interview and he did a great job because you did. So <laughs> thank you, Nugs. Thank Hi, Miss Nuggies. Thank you, everybody in Nuggies chat. Uh, and uh, we're just going to wrap this up by saying goodbye. Have a great one. Bye-bye. <laughs>All right, my lovely people who have joined me for my interview, I appreciate you guys being here so much. Um, the likes and the shares are much appreciated. Uh, hello, Salt Killer. I see you there, girl. Uh, yep, I see you, baby. Shaking that ass. <laughs> um, uh, TTP Lightmare, you followed a bunch of folks in here. Chris Westbrook. Um, I really appreciate you guys all sharing out my content so that we can get uh, more content creators in here on the books. So um, I'm going to go ahead and say um, I will catch you on the flip side. But first, uh, let's find somebody uh, lovely to send you to. Um, I would like to go ahead and uh, find out who is online that we can share some love to. I would send you to Super Nugs because he is live, but he is actually going to be taking a break. He just told me that. Just saying. Um, okay. So we've got a bunch of folks in here. Ooh, Lady's doing great. If you guys haven't popped over to her stream, she is doing really well right now. Um, 
I like that idea. Let's surprise Lady. She's got high energy. Um, she's got a beautiful voice. I'm going to send you over there. I would really appreciate you to stick around and at least hit the like and share for her. If you're not following her content, please do. This gal is awesome. She's one of my favorite teammates. So everybody have a great evening and I will see you on the 31st for my special all day interview, uh, Halloween special.